All right, here's a new game. Um, again, probably not a new game. Um, it's been played different ways. I've seen it in various blogs and on Twitters and from different uh, PE teachers. Um, I'm going to show you how I play it and then kind of a little twist that I put on the game uh, for Halloween. So this is how I set up the gym. Okay, uh, again, this is a blank Jim uh, here and I'll make this a little bit bigger for you so you guys can see it set it up so again here's how the gym is okay all set up a blank gym anyway what I do with the game for this uh, throwing game is I set up a couple two to three mats on end so we'll put in a square here to represent a mat okay I'll put him there and then we'll put in another one so these blue squares are to visually represent uh, different mats set up on end to separate the gym. Okay, so obviously this is one half of the gym where students will be, and this is another side of the gym where the students will be. Okay, and if I hadn't mentioned, I play this game with K, first, and second graders. So we'll put in some students here. get them all separated okay again each one of these stars is to represent a student okay, and this white star is these white stars are one team and then we'll put in a different color here and then these gray stars are another team and we'll get those all separate. so the way I call it not in my backyard is um, the job of the teams is to keep the garbage from going in their yard. Now, what I represent as the garbage is anything that can be thrown. Any yarn ball, bean bags, um, dodge balls, uh, anything that obviously is soft in nature and won't hurt if it happens to uh, kid misses the catch or anything like that. So we could put in... Uh, let's do a different color here. Let's put in this guy. Let's uh, say that these round circles are different uh, pieces of equipment that can be thrown. Okay, they can either again be yarn balls, bean bags, whatever works best for you. Okay. Anyway, the object of the game for the team, for each team, is to throw the ball either overhand or underhand, whatever you works for you to get the garbage out of their yard. So I tell the students, for instance, the, uh, the grade team here, they would go to this ball and they would have to try and throw it over the fence into that team's yard. And then I tell the team on this side here, well, they don't want garbage in their yard, so their job is to throw the garbage back over the fence onto the other team's side. So it's constant throwing. And so obviously, over here, if I was the white star, this person would grab this ball and throw it back over in this general direction. And it's constant throwing back and forth, and the game is over whenever the teacher blows their whistle or stops the music. And one thing I found with K to first graders is as soon as it stops, we got to work on listening skills. Like they can't keep throwing the ball after the game is over and things of that nature. Then obviously if there's more garbage on one side versus the other side, that team uh, didn't win. Now my take on holiday games or seasonal games for Halloween is I would treat, let's get this out of here, this line. I treat each one of these circles here as the ghosts. These are the, the ghosts. So obviously in this case, the circles would be white. So... I'd put anything that was of white color. So obviously I could put in a white ball here and this would be the ghost. Okay, so this team would have to try and get the ghost out of their yard. So the student here would go and grab this ghost and throw it over here. And so again, 
I call it Ghostbusters. So now they're Ghostbusters, and their job is to throw the ghosts um, over to the other team's side. And again, you can play Ghostbusters music and things like that. So just different ways of working on overhand throwing and underhand throwing uh, for kindergarten, first, and second graders. And more information on this game idea will be on my blog.